Today, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the CapCut video editor. You can access this on your phone, your web browser, and your desktop. So if you go on their website right now, they basically have two options. You can get started for free, which will basically direct you to their web video editor, or you can download the desktop application. So if we press get started for free, it'll basically bring us to the web version. So here is the web version and here is the actual app. It's very similar. In fact, all the stock video, audio, text, transitions, everything is exactly the same. So you can use either. And because it's saves on the web. If you make an account with them, you can work on your desktop version and then go onto your phone or go into your phone and work on the web version. So in the media section here, there is local and library. So local is anything that you upload that's on your computer. And then library is their basically online library that they have. So first, I'm just going to drag some footage onto my timeline. So first, you want to drag it into this sort of project bin over here. To add this to your track, you just want to hover over and press this button right here. You can also drag it in as well. This way you can put in front of something behind something on top of something for example if you wanted to move your clip in the front you would just move your mouse over to the left side you can also hover over this and it'll preview for you so if you don't have anything on your timeline and you just want to preview what you're clicking on you can just click on it and you can also trim it right inside this media section this saves you time from having to cut stuff once you put it on the timeline so here you can see we have a much shorter version of this video next is audio so they have a bunch of tiktok sounds as well as copyright free music that you can use here Next, we have some text templates. For example, if you go over to social media, they have this lower third that you can add. So we can drag this on top of our clip here. To zoom in on your clip, you want to drag this slider here and it'll just help you zoom in. You can also scroll with your mouse while holding command or alt. So once you add something like this, you can edit the text on this right side here. So we can add our TikTok and you can see you can edit it pretty simply. And what we can do is we can resize this. So I'm just going to drag one of the ends and just move it to the bottom left corner. And so now we have something like this. You can also stretch this clip by clicking on one of the ends. You can also trim it as well if you want. Next, we have stickers. So this definitely does serve a niche. And once we go into effects and transitions, you'll also notice that this is very catered towards content creators. For example, typically video editors have very basic effects and you can do something with the effects. Here, they actually have effect presets essentially or effect templates. So for example, here, they have an effect called chromatic, but there is no just chromatic feature where it doesn't shake, where it doesn't sort of animate like this most video editors would just give you a chromatic feature. So for these transitions and effects, you can just click on it to preview it. You don't actually have to drag it onto your timeline, but to add it on your timeline, just press add to track here. Similar to the lower third, you can stretch it however long you want. You can also change the speed over on the right side as well, which is nice. So here I'm gonna apply camera shake and you can see it only shakes during this portion where this layer is visible. So if we press play, it stops where this ends. If you go over to transitions, it's also a very similar thing. Typically, you'll see like a fade transition or a zoom transition or something like that. Here they have a lot of pre-built ones. So here I'm going to drag in another video so that we can transition to another one. So now we have two different clips here. To create the transition, you just want to drag the transition and apply it over these two clips here. So here you can expand how long the transition is or how short the transition is. But here, if you press play, you can also right click on it to delete it. Here I'm going to apply anti CW swirl. So when it comes to color grading, they have two different options. So one is you can apply a filter. So similar, you would just click on it to preview it. You can see they have different presets here, or you can go over to adjustment and you can create a custom adjustment. And here you can adjust things such as temperature, basic settings like highlight, contrast, stuff like that. They have an option here called skin tone protection, which is really nice. And you can also apply a LUT. If you don't know what a LUT is, it's basically a preset or filter that you can download. So if you want to color grade by just applying a preset, you can do that as well. And now we're going to go through some of the mini features for some of the more basic actions. There's two different playheads you can go with. You can go with the select tool. So this is to move stuff around. So if you wanted to move like to the right side or this to the left side, you can click A on your keyboard. Right now, if I press A, it'll switch back to the select tool. So this is really helpful if you're going back and forth between moving stuff and cutting. So if you come across a clip like this, you would want to press A and select on it and then press B and make a cut. The shortcut for splitting a clip is Command B or Alt B. So if I press Alt B right now, it makes a cut. 
If you want to hide a layer, you can just press a V on your keyboard and whatever you select will be hidden. You also have the option to create a freeze frame. So let's just say you wanted to create a thumbnail out of one of the photos. Um, you can just press freeze right here and it freezes this whole section after you click freeze. They also have a reverse option. So it reverses the entire clip. They have a mirror option. They have a rotate option. So this will rotate it a 90, 180, 270 and 360 degrees. And there's a crop feature here. So if you wanted to crop a certain section, you can also rotate stuff here as well here you can also record a voiceover so click on it connect your microphone and you, then you can press start recording wherever you want this is helpful if you have for example a tutorial like mine or you just have b-roll and you want to film something over it these three features you see here where it says main track magnet um, auto snapping and linkage really have to do with snapping into place so for example if i had like a clip like this right let's just say i split it into two if i turn these off basically it'll be much harder to sort of snap into place let's say i wanted to just drag this towards the end it doesn't go right to the end where i want it to be but if i turn auto snapping on for example if i go near the end here it automatically snaps into place other cool features they have is if you go over to this right side here um, they have some very basic features like you can scale this in you can change the position they also have blend modes as well they also have other features so one is stabilize so typically you would use stabilize if you're shooting on a gimbal and you want a really smooth shot um, or if you're shooting handheld as well and you just want to make your clip a little smoother uh, there's also facial beauty which targets certain parts of your face so here you can see my skin gets really soft and so they're probably using some sort of ai to do this there's also body as well but because my body's not really in this besides the upper body um, i wouldn't really change this but i can change head size if i wanted to you can also go to cutout which is really cool so basically it determines what the subject is and it cuts out the background so this is actually pretty quick a lot faster than i thought and boom so you can see it cuts out the background this is helpful if you don't want to mask stuff out manually um, there's also chroma key so if you have like a green screen you can select a color and remove it. I don't have a green screen here, but if I wanted to remove the color like red, for example, I can remove all red because it's very similar to my face tone. It's going to remove my face color as well, but you can see it does remove red. There's also the option to mask. So basically masking is you can turn your video into a certain shape. So it'll fit into that shape. So if we press like heart, you can see once you create the mask, only the video will be shown inside this mask. If you want to make the editing process faster or learn more about editing on this, you can press on shortcut in the top right. And here there there are different shortcuts that you can use. Most of the shortcuts you'll need are going to be in timeline because most of your work is going to be done in the timeline, but you can also check out the other ones as well. On the preview player here, you can also adjust the quality so you can prioritize performance or quality. So for me, because I am running this on a pretty good computer, I would just prioritize quality, but for slower computers, you can prioritize playback. If you don't want a choppy playback where it has to load every few seconds, I would click on this. You can also click on original and it'll basically show you different dimensions you can resize this into so this basically changed your video resolution so you can go to like a vertical video by going to 9 by 16 and then you can for example just scale this up but basically once you're done you go over to export you select what video resolution you want so you can remove the watermark by default it will be on but you can remove it if you do have an account which is free so for video resolution it goes up to 4k so i'm just going to export in 4k and this is having the free version there is no paid version which is super nice but yeah that's basically the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed i'm going to leave a link to CapCut uh, for iOS, for Android, for the web version, for the desktop version in the description. Um, hopefully enjoy. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.